Hello. Hi, Cindy. Yes, sir. Hi, this is Officer James Frederick, PD. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm not. <laughs> I I understand that. Yeah. Um, I was calling. How can I help you? I was calling to see if you had any insight that you could give me about anything. Well, um, I know that uh, I, I saw her. So you've spoken with Addie Milwaukee. I have not um, spoke with I, Allie. I have not. She's oh, on an airplane she's right in. now. I talked yeah, to Sam. Okay, so she's yeah. Okay, you talked to Sam. Um, so we've been in you know constant communication all day. Um, Addie has been going back and forth. She's going to have probably the most information, except she's going to relay it all to us. Um, so Addie, you will be talking when she needs to land. Right. Addie and I were with Shanann and Nikki last night for dinner here in Arizona. Okay. And uh, I. Um, and you know Shanann through. Uh, our company Lavelle. Okay. Our yeah, our company Lavelle. So she's become like a you know close friend, like a sister to Can us. Can you spell all your time. company name for me? Sure. Um, capital L E, and then dash, and then V like Victor E L. Okay. Um, it's direct sales, so we're all independent contractors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she, you were with Shanann and Nikki last night. Correct. In, in Arizona. And, um, took. Correct. So we had dinner, and then Addie and I took um, Shanann and Nikki to the airport. Okay. And do you live in the okay. Phoenix area, or where do you live at? I do. Okay. I live in Queen Creek, Arizona, and that is a suburb of Phoenix. So um, I drop them at Sky Harbor Airport, which is our Phoenix airport. Okay. And that was around 7-ish. I mean, I think the flight was around 8.45. Okay. And... Um, and what I then I was relayed the information today at about noon my time that Shanann was missing. And who did you find that out through? From Addie. And do you know how Addie found out? Uh, from um, Nikki, and uh, so this was like a relay going through the phones. Okay. Okay. And so how how long were you with Shanann this week? Like how many days? Uh. So, Shanann, uh, I believe, got here either, I think, Thursday. Okay. We had uh, an event um, for, for Lavelle. Okay. And um, and so she got here on Thursday, and I believe, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Thursday. I for sure saw her on Friday. Okay. So I saw her Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So all three days. Mm-hmm. And did she fly in with Nikki? I, I believe she did. I know she flew out with her, but I don't know. I wasn't um, around when they flew in. So okay. I don't know that for sure. And uh, is there anything that that she talked about while you were with her that was concerning or kind of raises some red flags to you? Yes. Well, uh, she mentioned that, um, that her husband has been distant. She's very... Sad. She was about to break down. Um, he he's been saying things that uh, they're not compatible anymore. Um, that uh, she's so concerned. You know, there's just trouble. And so, you know, it, blindsided by this, this was not normal. Um, he wouldn't really explain much. You know, um, so she she mentioned things about counseling. Um, they were going to try to go away for the weekend. Um, the, so she just was talking about being distraught, like just blindsided. This was unexpected whatsoever, you know. Um, it was odd that he deleted his Facebook account, but on when, when he was on Facebook, and this was maybe a week or so ago, I'm not, I don't know exactly when, um, but it was odd that he deleted his Facebook account. Um, they were always, you know, he was always talking about her and the kids and, you know, and he was proud of her growth in the company that, you know, all the accomplishments and they just seemed like he, a great team. He would write this on Facebook? Yeah, correct. Okay. But haven't seen, hadn't seen much lately. And so she went out of town to go visit family in, um, in on the East Coast. And I think it was like a six week trip. And at the latter part of that, and that was recent, like within a week prior to her coming here to Arizona. And I think the latter part of that week, he joined them in um, 
and that's when I think she discovered that things were. And the other thing that I knew was uh, that she relayed was oh, oh. that um, they just found out that, you know, they were going to be having a boy. She's, you know, 15 weeks along and that they were going to be having a boy and, um, and that, but they canceled the reveal, like the gender reveal party because just the energy was not right. And that's something that she mentioned, but no indicators that he wanted a separation. The energy between them, those two weren't, mm -hmm. wasn't right? Yeah, like there was, she just didn't understand why he was this way, you know, like why he didn't want, why he was feeling like that they were not compatible anymore. Where did that come from, you know, kind of stuff. So were, were you friends like, with him oh, on Facebook? I was, I don't remember now, actually. I think I was, yeah, but now I, I can't look, you know, for sure. I'm pretty sure I was, but either when, you know, things were tagged or if he was in it, it was always, she was always involved, so... So you'd see his posts because she Correct, yeah. he would tag her. Either that or um, I was friends with him, but I don't remember. Gosh, we have such a big company. Okay. So, but, um, but you saw the post on your Facebook, and it's not through correct. someone else telling you about him. Oh, correct. No, no, no. I would I would see it. Okay. Is there um, Had she mentioned anything else about their relationship or seeing anyone else or... Anything like well, that? that was always obviously a question, you know, um, and she was concerned about money that he had spent that night. He went to apparently a ball game. It, it was a question about him seeing somebody else? Yes. Okay. Like, my, that went through my, my mind. Like, all of a sudden, and he's, like, gotten more fit lately, and, I mean, I'm sorry to be saying all of this, but... No, you know, I, you know we're, we're kind of starting it, we're starting it scratch, so the most... The more information we can collect, the better. So I, I'd like to be as <laughs> so candid as possible. Yeah. Sure. So he started to get more fit and, you know, um, really lost a lot of weight and got more muscular. And that was recent. I just saw a picture, of, you know, of, and if you look at, if you're looking at her Facebook, there's like a video of, of them, the girls running to him and they got caught. The girls went past C on TSA and shouldn't have, you know. So there's like a video of um, the girls running up to him at the airport, and then there's fit pictures of them in the ocean. You know, he's, that's that's new. He didn't look that fit before, so that was new. Okay. And um, and so, but so what she did bring up, and I didn't say anything. You know, like I wonder if are you wondering if there's somebody on the side? You know, this is so out of character, weird, and you know, and but I didn't say it. She brought up that she, of course, my brain is going to go there and. That he went to a ball game um, with his friends, but then I looked on, you know, their banking, and it was um, he spent more money than he, you know, than he should have for his own meal. You know, a, a burger and a beer should have been at the most, you know, twenty five, thirty bucks or something, and it was like sixty some dollars. Did she say what ball game he went to? Uh, a Rockies game. Okay, and what night was that? Uh, that would have been um, that uh, yesterday. I believe. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay. And, but she had discovered... Yeah, I just was curious to her that, again, because they usually, well, any dollar that they spend, they always tell each other, you know, kind of thing, and I was curious to her. I mean, her, her, her just suspicions are everywhere, you know, one, trying to figure this out, why he's not wanting to, you know, um... Just, you know, it, not wanting to, it feels like he doesn't want to work on things, you know. Right. And I don't know if Addie's going to mention this, but um, he did, she did relay to Addie that he said that he did not want a baby that's coming. Okay. I mean, these are things that nobody knows, you know what I mean? This is like lockdown stuff, but I mean, anything that can help bring her home. But none of this makes any sense. She, those babies need their medicine. Um, you know, she's the most OCD, like, t like really routine person that I've ever met, um, but just a joy, you know, just loving. But she's like a helicopter mom. She would have never left that house without the girls having everything that they needed. The fact that her purse, I mean, I mean, we're trying to be reasonable, too. Like, okay, maybe she could have called the pediatrician, you know, and called it in. We're trying to be reasonable and not hy hysterical. Right. But none of, this, none of this makes any sense at all. And where did she go? Because the video shows her no, nothing. I mean, going out the back wouldn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense for her to do. 
Um, it could have happened, sure. I mean, I, obviously, there's things that could happen, and I, I'm hoping that's the case. But um, she doesn't have an ID. Could she have taken a passport, maybe, and cash? And, you know, but the, the debit cards, I mean, nothing, it just, none of this makes any sense. And Have you been in yeah, contact with Chris? I have not. Sam has. Oh, Sam has. Okay. Yeah, and was kind of playing it dumb, you know, like, are you guys okay? And it's just, to us, all of this, she's showing us all of these screenshots of, you know, his, her interaction with him, and, and we're going, Sam's showing you these? You? Yeah, yeah, she's, like, relaying that to Addie and me, and, and we're like, why are you, you know, he said, well, we, I have some people here, and they're, they're sitting here with me, and I'm like, why are you idiots out on the streets yeah. with flashlights? I mean, I don't, he's so calm. I don't understand it. He's a calm person anyway. He's a very passive man. Um, How many times I've, have you met I've, him? I've I've never met him in person. Okay. It's this is all you know. Third hand info. Never met him in person. Yeah, it's just kind of like what I know through. I, I I've seen I know I've I've been in, in Shanann's presence many times, and so and and just even just talking on the phone, she'll talk about Chris, and then the internet the interaction of you know them on Facebook and stuff. He's just more of a passive guy, you know, not kind of quiet, not real animated you know but he's always talked about how much he loves her and i'm so proud of her and none of this seems right but what i'm what's very curious to me is why he's so calm right now right i, I just don't understand any of that i don't uh i'd be throwing up i'd be sick and so she's and she's very ill she's got lupus so that's why you know obviously you probably know that but nikki went to go do a well check on her because she couldn't get a hold of her so she was worried that she was passed out on the floor. Had she? Not to, did she face how she was? Was she was feeling okay this weekend? Well, she was more. She wasn't. It didn't seem like that she was sick. sick you know, like from her um, lupus, she just was so distraught. I mean, this is just a blind side. She doesn't want to lose her marriage. She doesn't want to lose her husband. You know, she's just distraught. Doesn't didn't seem like her perky self. You know, like normal. Right. But she's somebody that just takes care of business. You know, she just takes care of business and, like, stuff needs to get done, she'll get it done, you know. And so she hopped in a few times to help with, you know, over the weekend for the event and, you know, that kind of thing. But I didn't, you know, she didn't reveal all of this until we actually sat down to dinner. All of, all of the event thing was over. And this is when she told me. And was this like, last oh. night she was telling you or Saturday? Yeah, yeah, at dinner. Okay. You know, at last night before the airport, before dropping her off. And who was at dinner with you guys? It was you, Addie. It was me, Addie, Nikki, and and Shanann. Okay. And she was anxious to get home. She was concerned because we were having issues here with um, weather, and you know, um, we kept getting weather alerts. We were in the air, you know restaurant, and the electricity went off, and so she was a little like on you know like alert. I mean, she was just you could tell she was a little anxious. Right. To get home, she just wanted to get home. And worried she was going to get stuck here. Is there anything else you could think of? It, had she said anything that that he had harmed her physically, or um, no, there had ever been any violence or every anything ever? No, I mean, and just just based on observation, that doesn't seem like something that he would be like. You know, um, it just wouldn't seem like he, he would be that way. Okay. But I, I just... She wasn't I, fearful you know, of him? No, she just was so sad. You know, she just didn't understand why it was going in this direction. She was completely blindsided. So there was not... She didn't mention anything that he had gotten, like, raised voices and or anything like that. Right. It never, she never mentioned that. She just... He just kind of... I think the one thing he said to her that she relayed was, you know, she knows... She, she's like, I know that I'm a control freak. You know, I'm, I'm, I have to be with the girls because the girls need their medication and, you know, all that, you know, she just is that pay, that person. And the only thing that she relayed that he said was, like, it'd be nice if I was able to hang something on the wall without you hovering over and critiquing me, you know, over my shoulder. So he was getting annoyed by things, I guess. I don't know. Okay. And she just didn't, everything worked up until then. You know, like, they had a routine and everything worked up until then. You know, I guess. Did she say how long their this had been going on with their marriage? Was it something recent or something for? Yeah, it was. It's, this has been super recent. Um, like I said, the trip to um, the Carolinas was 
she just got home within days or a week prior to coming here to Arizona. And it all happened then. And, right. I think it all happened like when he came there and, you know, something like that. Like some, either he waited till they got home or it was there, you know, at the latter part of the trip to the Carolinas. Okay. But it was very recent that it all came up. Is there anything else you could think of? Because I, I, when I talked to Sam, she said she was sending you and Addie a message with our phone number on it, and that Addie was going to call me when yeah. she landed. Yeah. Um, and then Addie. then Sam said that, you know, that they're going to be calling you. You know, she, they said, they, I gave them your phone number and that they were going to be calling you. And okay, it just, um, her, her leaving without any of her stuff is... It's not even like how long have you life. known Shanann? A mm, couple of years now. And how often would you see her? Um, I'd see her at events, but we talk on the phone quite a bit. So with work, and then every once in a while it was personal, and you know that kind of thing. Okay. Um, I well, see, you know, last time before this, I saw her physically was. Um, early end of April, early May in New Orleans. We had an event. Okay. I wish that there was something. I mean, it, it just none of this, like we've all been going back and forth. We, we know a lot of details that we're not letting other people know, but um, none of this is right. And none of this feels right. There was, if it, I'm telling you this, if it wasn't Chris, then who was it? You know, no, this doesn't make any sense. She doesn't have any way to go. If she just started to wander off, you know, like, like maybe she was so distraught, you know. I mean, we're trying to make sense of everything. Why was the bed stripped? You know, okay, where are the sheets at? Is that are stuff Chris is telling you guys? No, this is just other stuff that we're being relayed that only a few of us are talking about. How, how are you guys getting that information, I guess, is my question. Is Chris relaying that to you or Nikki? No, he is not. Nikki was trying to trying to help make sense of this. Okay. I I'm just I'm just curious how you guys are finding out I don't information. Want her to get in trouble. No, no, anything. she's oh, not gonna get in trouble. It's our it's you know, we're trying to put a big puzzle together, so as best as we can figure out who knows what that's mm -hmm. that's something that you know what I mean? That's something we need to know Behind, is who knows what. Course. So and um you're not at fault for knowing anything and so well, I don't not, want Nikki to be at fault for sharing. She's out of her mind. Oh, you know, oh no, she's she's, been, she's not going to be in trouble. Trust me. And we're and we're um we're we feel like we're like trying to mold and trying to be reasonable. Also, like not trying to jump to conclusions either. You know, but it's just that it's just based on who we know about Shanann, none of this makes any sense whatsoever. Right. That you know, and it it just um she would never. You know, um, I, I, Chris told Addie that she um, was going to friend, a friend's with the, taking the girls and going to a friend's. Okay, well, nobody picked, who picked her up? You know, where'd she go? Right. I mean, um, uh, yeah, and, and we're trying to piece it all together. Right Right now, we're, you know. we're investigating it as a missing, missing persons report. Um, mm -hmm. And, I wish I could. Of course, I know you can't jump to share more details with you, but unfortunately, I can't. I understand. Um, but it's it, it's our job to try and talk to as many people as we can. To you know, we talk to one or two people. We don't necessarily get the whole story of who she is and stuff. So it's uh, I appreciate you talking to me, and you have my number. That number that uh, Sam had okay. sent out is to our dispatch mm -hmm. center, and if you call mm -hmm. that number and ask for a Frederick officer. One will, okay. you can get in contact with one 24-7. Um, Was what, anything I said helpful, I hope? Yeah, so it's, we we don't know Chris and Shanann from sure. Peter down you the street, so we got to try and course. develop uh, their characteristics, their, their mannerisms, sure. stuff like that to try to help put the, the puzzle together. So it's good to know that uh, all the stuff you told me and kind of how she was feeling the last, few days and stuff like that if you think right. of anything else that you didn't tell me give me a call too much well, information you know, will never hurt so 
sure, of course. And and when you know, of course, we understand the whole. Yeah, you know, it's tw- twenty four hours and stuff. And all of us, you know, like uh, when I say all of us, Addy, you know, Sam, we were going to call in and say, please, you guys don't know this woman, and she would ne- she would not ever be without these children to have life. Like um, Celeste, the, the baby CC has needs an EpiPen. Right. That baby needs an EpiPen. This isn't right. Something's wrong. I mean. We're trying to make sense, okay, did she have a stash somewhere, you know, that she grabbed, but why didn't she grab her wallet? Why'd she leave her ID and, you know what I mean, I, I just... The only and that's thing what that we're trying to read, figure out is... Right. Did she mention that she had any money anywhere? No, she didn't mention, like, you know, because the only thing I could think of, okay, if she didn't take any of that, well, did she take a passport and cash? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, we're trying to think of plausible things, you know, that would... Uh, but if she just, like, left the house, you know, on foot out the back because obviously there's nothing up front that was you know shows that she left um so if she left out the back but then the children are gonna get hungry she's gonna knock on somebody's door i'm sorry to bother you or she ends up in a hospital you know somewhere because she starts to be too distraught something you know like and so would you describe her mental health as fragile no, not at all. Was she a strong That's woman? Like she was very, very strong, but like she's so very family oriented, very, very organized, very, just um, like very meticulous. Um, there's people that are anal that are annoying, and she's not. You know, she's <laughs> she's very um, like everything is in place. Like I was telling the girls, if I ever went missing, you guys wouldn't be able to figure anything out. But Shanann. She's everything. If any one piece is out of order, you would know it. So, so Sam had told me. Were you the one that lived with her, or was that Christina? Christina. Okay. Christina Meacham was with her. Okay. So that's going to be a person that lived in the environment. Okay. That you're going to. So her, that's who I'm going to call next. It's hard to. What's that? I so said that's who I'm going to call next. You, I don't, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she she's the one that uh, lived in the environment, and uh, you know, for a little, I don't know how long she lived there, but I know that she did. Okay. And that that was one question we asked her: is that could she leave out the back? And she's like, not really. It doesn't. That wouldn't make any sense to leave out the back. There's homes behind it. It's right. not like there's an alley or you know something like that. That wouldn't make sense. But I'm not there either. You guys, saw, you saw the property. I didn't. So yeah. Just, so like, if you can think of different. anything else that would give us some insight. Just don't hesitate to call us, okay? Okay. okay. Very right. good. Thank you very much for all your help. Yep. Have a good night. Okay. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.